It's your girl, Leah Avery, the queen of fun, CEO of Just Play Entertainment, creator of the Hip Hop Charades Car Game. I am so excited. This is our very first YouTube series. And today we're gonna to discuss how to earn income by hosting an event on a budget. Yes, I said it. I'm gonna share all the details. I'm spilling all the tea on how you can get the bag. I'm gonna show you how you can make your party a fun experience to remember for the low. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you're in the know whenever we have some new videos pop up. We're gonna discuss everything related to events and game production. It's money out there for everybody and I want you to be successful. All right, so first things first, let's talk about pricing. Let's talk about money, most importantly, because we wanna make sure there's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. <laughs> I know I'm corny, I'm corny, whatever. I still have fun, no matter what I say. Nah. Now, uh, we're gonna talk about pricing. So most events, you, most events on average, you can charge, you know, the average amount is normally between 10 and $25. The more money that you charge for your event, the more value that you have to add to the event. The second most important thing that we need to discuss is music. Every event has to have music. Will you have a DJ? Will you not have a DJ? In our Just Play experience, we provide entertainment to the point where we don't have to have a DJ. We can just have a bomb ass playlist and everybody having a good time playing the game. Hey, it's all out. It's all out. But on the other hand, if it's like a regular party, you definitely want to have a DJ to liven up the audience. But if it's a just play experience, we don't have to add a DJ. We add DJs at certain special occasions, but it's not that important to us at all. We'll go ahead and pull a playlist out and everybody be good. I know all the playlists that will cater to whatever the demographic is. You want rap, you want R&B, you want trap, you want pop culture, you want old school, you want 90s, I got you. Guess what I use? Pandora, Pandora, they have uh, they have a free account, but you don't wanna have any commercials, so you can pay for the, uh, the lowest price, subscription price package they have is $4.99, and that's no commercials. People like to use Spotify, I heard Spotify is a little bit more up to date, but I really prefer uh, Pandora because how the playlist is set up, you know, it really works for me and what we've been doing all these years with Just Play. So another idea is to go ahead and get a DJ. Maybe you can find one that's, that's within your budget. All you have to do is add more value and paint the picture for the DJ. Tell the DJ what your following is, how many people you're expecting to come. Add the DJ's logo on the flyer. Tag the DJ in all the social media promo. You know, when I host events and I have a DJ, uh, people always ask the DJ for their business card. So all you're doing is giving that DJ exposure and hopefully for that DJ to grow his business at the events he's playing the music at. I've even had DJs host events at our Just Play uh, game nights for free just because they see the value that it will bring to their business. So, you know, have, uh, have confidence that your business is the shit and you will go far. <laughs> When you hire a DJ, the prices can range from at the lowest, probably 200, at the highest, uh, 500. DJs get paid some really good money. So again, this video is to show you how you can host events and earn income um, on a budget. So we're not gonna go that route. Another route that you can go if you want a DJ is uh, go on Facebook. I've, I've been on Facebook groups and I've said, hey, I'm looking for an affordable DJ. I'm on a budget. You'll be surprised who will reach out. A lot of DJs will take $100 just for the experience and to um, get some exposure. So what you do is make sure that the DJ plays all the songs you want them to play. 
you put your playlist together and make sure that the songs cater towards your audience and your demographic. So the third and final topic that we need to discuss in hosting an event on a budget is location, location, location. Not only do you need a location that's convenient, that has uh, accessible parking, or not too far from where your demographics uh, reside, finding a location is key to building a relationship. I've been at the same location since uh, 2014. They just closed down due to the pandemic and I'm so sad. They just closed down in 2020. So from 2014 to 2020, we've been sitting hard, rocking hard, creating fun experiences. And I'm gonna tell you how I close this location and how I'm gonna close another one just like that, same way. So what you do is you find a location that has an extra event space. So that way they can still have their regular stuff going on downstairs or upstairs or wherever it is, but they have an extra space available for private events. So think about the days of the week that's not busy. Okay, they might be busy on Saturdays and Sundays and charge top dollar, sure. But they got those slow days too. What about a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday? You know, so what you do is you go and ask to speak to the manager, not the events coordinator. You talk to the manager and say, hey, my name is so-and-so. I have this business that I'm just kicking off. We have a great following. And I think this would be a great place for us to host uh, consecutive monthly events. Throw in monthly. Let them know you want to do it more than once so they can see there's going to be an additional income they can add on and look forward to making a profit every single month from your business. And say, hey, you know, because we're just starting off, let's do a trial basis. You keep the bar, you keep the food. We charge at the door, and we can uh, um, we can afford a month. We can afford a rental fee. Our rental fee was seventy five dollars. So for all these years, for several years, I only paid seventy five dollars to host my event, and I was able to keep a hundred percent of the income at the door, and they kept the uh, the bar and the food. Just because they keep the bar and the food, you still want to see those receipts and find out how much they made. You need to know that information to see how much your bar and food will uh, come up to. So when you're looking at a different location and they may ask you, well, how much, you know, you can use it as leverage. When we've had these events at this place and our bar, our bar is at least $2,000 and up with our crowd that we, that we provide. Or if it's a privately owned company or event space, that's a good opportunity to do a, a split, do like a 70-30 split. So that way you all share the uh, the ticket sales. So you, you keep 70 and they keep 30. And then you can also make more money by splitting the, uh, the drinks. You can do 50-50 on the drinks, but because you're providing all the service, you're bringing people there, there is their responsibility to also, you know, share the flyer. I even will get uh, posters put up to put into the establishment. We'll talk about that in another series on how to promote your event. But there you have it. There's two different ways where you can set up the arrangement with the uh, location. Either keep 100% at the door, let them keep the food and drinks, or do a partnership with them where you do a 70-30 split. You don't pay anything up front. You keep 70, they keep 30, and then you allow them to make more money off of the drinks. There you have it. I hope these tools help you like they've helped me and become successful with my business. So I just schooled you on how you can host an event for under a hundred bucks. I only paid $80. My expenses was only $80, and that included the $75 rental fee and the $5 fee for Pandora using their playlist. Let me know in the comments your experience with hosting events. Let me know if it works for you. Find your location, find your restaurant, pub or a bar and tell them the same thing I told you. On their slow days, they are not making no money and they thirsty and they trying their hardest to find ways to make money on those slow days. So I guarantee you, you make it sound right for them, it's gonna be hard for them to tell you no. It's a need, they need you. They need your business, they need your crap. So let them know all the value that you can offer to them especially on a slow day. What they got to lose, I'm just saying. If you charge at least $10 for an event, you know, the first event may be a little bit slow. It's normal, you have to keep it consistent and your event will grow. So let's just say you had a low, a low turnout, 
of just 20 people that came. That's $200. You pay 80 bucks for your expenses. So you at least made a profit of 120 bucks. And that's at the lowest price at $10. Join our Just Play team, get paid to play, use our brand, host your own events, build your team and be your own boss. If you want more information, contact us at info at justplayentertainment.com. Just imagine how your event will grow with consistency, a fun experience and word of mouth. And I always take pictures and, and video to, to uh, offer a sneak peek. All right, be sure to click the subscribe button so I can keep you in the know on all the educational tools that you can learn as it relates to hosting events, creating games, making flyers, all that good stuff. Until next time, peace.